Welcome back, fight fans. Welcome back. Welcome back. According to TalkSport.com, you know, Anthony Joshua has stated that he could end up fighting Deontay Wilder and possibly December. You know, this is the talks that he's, you know, him and Eddie Hearn are planning. And, you know, Anthony Joshua has two fights per year. It's pretty much what he fights. And his first fight will be June 1st. And his second fight will be in December. Now, since December would be a huge mega clash, most likely in the UK, but he's also open to fighting Deontay Wilder in the US. But it all comes down to if Deontay Wilder truly wants to be unified champion of the world. And it also comes down to if Deontay Wilder wants to fight Anthony Joshua next. Because, you know, Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder fight might not have happen until 2020 at some point and even further than that because you never know if Deontay Wilder gets stopped or dropped or beat he might end up having a trilogy with Tyson Fury to try to save face because at the end of the day the Tyson Fury fight has a very likelihood of happening way late in the year and maybe he skips out on the Anthony Joshua fight at that point and pushes everything back to 2020 and see this is the problem in boxing when you have a guy like Deontay Wilder trying to duck the best in the division trying to duck the best champion trying to duck Anthony Joshua and not taking the undisputed fight, not taking the biggest and best payday. Deontay Wilder has an absolute problem with fighting the best. And, and you know, so many of these fanboys and apologists come on here every day and say, you know, um, IBFP, you hate all black PBC fighters. That makes no sense because Danny Jacobs was with the PBC. He's been managed by Al Heyman and he's recently moved. And you know what? I've always supported Danny Jacobs because he's an elite level fighter who carries himself with class, who's never been overhyped. Now, Deontay Wilder's been overhyped, the Charlo brothers have been overhyped, and Errol Spence has been overhyped. So just because I call those things honestly and unbiasedly, you have a lot of fanboys that don't like that. And unfortunately, the truth hurts sometimes. And this is nothing but, you know, the the unadulterated truth. And we have to give it to you honest and raw. Unlike all these biased boxing channels, we have to tell you the truth about the situation. What you do with the information is up to you. But at the end of the day, Deontay Wilder does not want to fight the best out there. They're not interested in Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua has all the belts. He represents the single biggest payday, and he's trying to freeze out Anthony Joshua because he does not want to fight. Anthony Joshua keeps chasing Deontay Wilder around. See, if you if you realize when you go back to this whole start of the, the story between Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder, Deontay Wilder comes out, states Anthony Joshua is ducking him. He's scared of him. He doesn't want to fight him. He's a coward. He's being unfair. And he said all these terrible things about Anthony Joshua. And when you look down to the nuts and bolts of everything, Anthony Joshua made an offer. Deontay Wilder agreed. And Deontay Deontay Wilder said he lost his pen and refused to sign the contract. The reason why all of that happened, if we're being honest and unbiased, because Deontay Wilder did never want to fight Anthony Joshua in the first place. A lot of people speculate that Deontay Wilder want to be the A-side to Anthony Joshua. It's not about the money. Deontay Wilder doesn't want to get knocked out by Anthony Joshua. He doesn't want to take that substantial risk unless he has no choice. Because at the end of the day, Deontay Wilder likes holding on to the WBC title. He likes holding the belt hostage. And he only wants to fight guys where he feels like he can land a lucky punch and get the win. He feels like he can get that same shot against Tyson Fury because he dropped Fury twice in the fight. But what he doesn't realize is the Fury that he dropped twice in that fight was a Fury that was about 75%. What happens when you face a 90-95% Tyson Fury next time out? That is going to be a completely different fight and Tyson Fury may not get dropped. Deontay may be, one, may be the one hitting the canvas because his defense is lousy and lackluster and he's only looking for one knockout shot to end the whole fight. And you have to understand understand when you're a one trick pony you leave yourself open and vulnerable to many shots Deontay Wilder is going to pass up the chance of a lifetime and an opportunity and undisputed just because he chooses to duck the best fights in the division once again unbiased as always it's the IBFP please share like and you must absolutely subscribe